how to add custom message handlers to the client pipeline. Some web API clients require to log errors. So let's suppose that is our requirement and we want to achieve that goal by using custom message handler. So in this example, first I will show you that how we can add custom message handler for such login purpose and later I will show you that how we can add that custom message handler to the client pipeline. To create a custom message handler, first step is just to create a simple class as I have created logging handler class. And based on our requirement, we need Steam Writer for logging purpose. So this class contains Steam Writer. Second step is we need to drive that class from delegating handler class. Third step is we need to override send async method. And if you see the definition or implementation of that method, this is quite simple and straightforward. Guess what we need to do? We need to call base dot send async method this way. And we need to await for response. And if you see that after getting the response, I'm just simply checking the status code and based on status code, if status code is um, false, then in that case, I'm just doing the logging. And in case of success, I'm just skipping that part and I am returning response. So this is the way by following these three simple steps, we can create custom message handler. Now, to add this newly created custom message handler to the client pipeline, just we need to pass that newly created custom message handler to the create method of HTTP client factory when we try to create client. Remember, we can pass more than one custom message handlers to the create method separated by comma. Uh, so remember, the message handlers are called in the order that we pass them into the create method of HTTP client factory class. So first will be called first, second, on second, and so on. Remember, this order is from sending request point of view. From response point of view, response message travels in the opposite direction. It means the last handler is the first to get the response message. I hope you got the answer of this question.